Hello everyone! Pag-usapan natin ang related rates which is an application of derivatives. Para sa lecture video na to, meron tayong dalawang examples. Let us start with our first one. A spherical balloon is being inflated at a rate of 10 cubic centimeters per second. The question is, how fast is the radius increasing when it is 5 centimeters? For example, ito yung drawing. This is a spherical balloon. Kapag ka hinihipan siya, if you are inflating yung balloon, lumalaki yung volume niya kasabay na lumalaki din yung radius. In that case, merong rate of change may pagbabago dun sa volume ng lobo at meron ding rate of change dito rin sa radius. When it comes to related rates, dapat maging aware tayo ano yung values na constant tsaka ano yung values na nagbabago. So let's start with our given values. Isulat muna natin kung ano yung meron para hindi tayo malito later on kapag ka nagko-compute na. So, dun muna tayo sa madali. We have our 5 centimeters. Ito yung radius. Ito yung tinatanong. So, we have our r that is 5 centimeters. Tapos, yung rate of change, this 10 cubic centimeters per second. So, this is yung pagbabago ng volume with respect to time. The change in volume with respect to time, pwede natin siyang i-represent as dv over dt. So, this is equal to the 10 cubic centimeters per second. Para hindi tayo malito, makikita naman natin sa unit. So, we have cubic centimeters. This is volume with respect to time. Kaya, ito yung isang paraan para mas madalian tayo dun sa pag-analyze ng given. So, now, kompleto na. Ito, dalawa lang naman ng given. We have to find, solve yung rate ng change nung pag-increase nung radius nung lobo. So that is the rate of change, the rate of change of the radius with respect to time. So we have to look for dr over dt. So now tuloy tayo sa solution. Dito naman, kailangan nating mag-recall ng certain concepts and formulas pagdating sa geometry. So we're talking about dun sa volume ng sphere kasi yung balloon is spherical in shape. So ngayon, the volume of a sphere is just equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube. Formula na to. Ngayon, para makuha yung dv over dt, tsaka yung dr over dt, at yung kailangan dun sa radius, we have to get the derivative nitong formula. We will be applying concept ng implicit differentiation. So, we get the derivative ng buong equation. So, with respect to time, we have derivative ng volume with respect to time dv over dt dito sa kabila kailangan nating mag-ingat ano yung constants 4 over 3 constant yan pi this is also a constant kaya ang kukuhanan lang ng derivative is yung r with respect to time this is our variable kaya stay by constant multiple iiwan si 4 over 3 tapos si pi and then we apply power rule implicit differentiation kay r cube ibababa si 3 so we have 3 times eto ay babawasan ng isa, so this becomes 3 times r squared, tapos we will be multiplying it to dr over dt. So with this, eto na yung hinahanap, dr over dt. The rest, we only have to substitute our values. Ang dv over dt, we have 10 cubic centimeters, so we have 10 here, this is equal to, pwede natin isimplify yung part na to, kasi we can perform division, 3 divided by 3 is just 1. Kaya ang matitira na lang dito is 4 pi tapos r squared, yung r given tayo, yung radius when it is 5 centimeters. So we have r that is equal to 5. So this will become 5 squared times dr over dt. Ito yung hinahanap. So now we just perform our operation. So this is equal to 10 still left side. Hindi wala tayong binabago dito. So this is 10. This is equal to 4 pi times 5 squared is 25. Kaya isulat natin dito, we have 25. This is still multiplied to dr over dt. Now we perform our multiplication. Tuloy lang natin yung operation. Simplification na lang siya. We have 10 here is equal to 4 times 25, that is 100. So we have 100 pi times dr over dt. Para makuha na lang yung dr over dt, yung nasa isang side ng equation, let us multiply both sides of the equation. Para matanggal si 100 pi dito, we have 1 over 100 pi. 
Tapos let us interchange yung left side tsaka yung right side para yung dr over dt nandito na. So let us write here, dr over dt. Tapos yung nasa kabila, we have 10 numerator. Nakamultiply tayo kay 1 over 100 pi. So we have 10 over 100 pi. And then pwede pa natin tong baguhin into its lowest term, 10 over 100. This is just equal to 1 over 10. So this is simply equal to dr over dt is equal to 1 over 10 pi. Tapos ang unit, we have radius with respect to time. Our radius is in centimeters. Tapos yung time is in second. So we have centimeters per second. This is the rate of change no spherical balloon kapag ini-inflate siya when our radius is 5 centimeters. This is our final answer. As you have noticed, madali lang naman siyang i-compute. Madali lang kuhanin yung derivative as long as we are aware dun sa given values kung ano yung dapat gamitin tsaka kailan dapat sila dapat gamitin. So we have to break down our problem tapos tsaka tayo mag-apply ng konsepto. So now, ito yung unang example. So we were able to know the rate of change of a spherical balloon. Let us have more examples. Tuloy tayo. Example number 2. A right cylindrical tank is filled with water. The tank stands upright with a radius of 5 feet. The question is, how fast does the height of the water in the tank drop when the water is being drained at 30 cubic feet per second? So, meron naman tayong cylinder na nandito. Cylindrical tank siya na merong tubig. Tapos, the radius is 5 feet. For this problem, kailangan nating mag-ingat dun sa given. Kasi as we observe, given the cylindrical tank, tapos yung tubig ang concern natin, kahit na bumababa, habang dinedrain yung tubig dito sa water tank, nagbabago yung value ng volume ng tubig, and then habang nagbabago yung volume, yung height ng tubig dito sa cylindrical tank ay bumababa din. Kaso, kahit nagbabago yung dalawang yon, yung radius ng water dito sa water tank, sa cylindrical tank, hindi nagbabago. So, given this problem, the radius is always constant. Kaya kailangan nating mag-ingat pagdating sa related rates, dapat aware tayo ano yung mga nagbabago, ano yung constants. In our case, the volume is changing, the height is changing, pero the radius, this is still constant throughout our problem. So, ngayon, we have that. So, we write down our given values. Kailangan lang nating sabihin yon para alam natin yung gagawin. We have R that is equal to 5 feet. This is constant. And then, ano pa yung meron tayo? We have 30 cubic feet per second. This is the volume. This is yung pagbabago ng volume with respect to time. Kasi nade-drain tayo ng tubig. So, nagbabago yung volume ng water habang binubuksan natin yung gripo or kung ano man yung ginagawa para mabawasan yung tubig. So, in that case, this 30 cubic feet per second, this is the change in volume with respect to time. So, this is 30 cubic feet per second. And then, as per notation, since nagbabawas tayo, we write down negative here. So, tong negative na nandito, kaya siya negative 30, it signifies na bumababa yung value ng volume. Nagbabawas tayo ng tubig. So, this is negative 30 cubic feet per second. So, we have to be aware of this one also. And then, ano yung hinahanap? What do we need to solve here? Ang hinahanap ay, gaano daw kabilis yung rate of change nagbabago yung height ng tubig dito sa water tank. As we can see, habang nagbabago yung volume, nababawasan yung tubig, yung height ng tubig na nandito sa loob ay bumababa rin. So, we have to solve for dh over dt. Kaya kailangan yung value din ng height ay nababawasan yung rate of change. It should also be negative later on. So, we will be verifying kung makukuha nga natin ang negative answer. So, we have to solve for this one. Then, let us proceed with our solution. Again, we will be recalling certain formulas pagdating sa geometry. Ang volume ng cylinder, we have the formula is equal to pi r squared times height. Ito yung formula for the volume of a cylinder. So now, getting its derivative, apply din tayo ng implicit differentiation. We get the derivative with respect to time. So ang left side, wala tayong problema. This is dv over dt. As we are discussing earlier, pi is a constant, r, 
dito sa given na to, this is constant. Kaya pi is constant for this problem, r is also constant. Kaya iwan siya, we have pi r squared. Tapos dahil nagbabago yung height, kapag kinuhanan siya ng derivative with respect to time, this is dh over dt. Ito na yung kailangan nating hanapin. The rate of change ng height with respect to time. Then, we just have to solve for this one. Kapag nakarating kayo sa part na to ng solution, madali na. Kasi we only have to substitute the values. Kaya again, ang kailangan natin pag-ingatan is we have to be aware of the values. Kailan gagamitin itong mga to? Ano yung constant at ano yung mga nagbabago? So now, let us substitute. Dahil ang kailangan ay dh over dt. Pagpalitin na natin yung left side sa right side. So we write down dh over dt here. So pi r squared muna pala. So pi, ang radius is 5. So this is pi times 5 squared multiplied to dh over dt. Then our right side, we have dv over dt from our given values. This is equal to negative 30. So we write down negative 30. Tapos solve na lang natin to. We have 5 squared. This is 25 times pi. So we have 25 pi multiplied to dh over dt. Sulat natin. We have dh over dt here. And then this is equal to negative 30. Then solving for dh over dt, i-divide na lang natin both yung left side at yung right side ng equation by this 25 pi. Sulat natin siya dito, 25 pi. And then, we can perform division. Dito, equal na siya sa 1. Kaya ang matitira sa left side is only dh over dt. So we write down dh over dt. This is equal to negative 30 over 25. Pwede nating i-reduce to its lowest term. Parehong divisible by 5. So this will become negative 6 over 5 pi. Our unit height is in feet. So this is feet. Ang time is in second. So we have feet per second. Ito yung rate of change. Yung height ng tubig doon sa cylinder ay nagbabago. Pababa. Kaya siya negative. So nababawasan ng 6 over 5 pi feet per second. Kapag nagbabawas tayo ng tubig dun sa water tank ng 30 cubic feet per second. So, now we arrive at our final answer. Finally, this is the process kung paano tayo gumamit ng derivative to solve for the problems involving related rates. I hope that you have learned something on this lecture video. Thank you for watching.